Hey, what's going on, buddy? We are the Fife Nation, and welcome to episode 34 of my Pokemon Fire Let's Play. In the last episode, well, we beat up Sabrina, and she was actually somewhat difficult. We had a few snags along the way, but yes, we defeated her and obtained the sixth badge. Now, guys, in today's episode, we're going to be taking on the second gym of Saffron. What? Yes, Jordan, second gym? Yes, there is actually a second gym of Saffron. You do not obtain a badge from it. But it is the fighting gym. Gym, I use that word loosely because the outside of it is much so shaped like a gym, and there's trainers inside. So uh, I think we should go check that place out. But first off, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna heal up. I'm gonna meet you guys right out in front. Alright, I'll see you in a second. Okay, here we are, guys, outside of the second gym of Saffron. Now you can tell because it has the open door and it is a bit smaller. So, you know what? Let's head on inside. Alright, as you can see here, there are a bunch of guys lined up, and the only way you can really take this is actually if you really just want to fight the guys on the right, or if you want to fight the guys on the left, or you can do both by stepping in the middle. Now, that won't be a double battle, like it is in some games, such as Emerald. You'll actually just battle one of the opponents once, and then one of the opponents directly afterwards. Now, uh, you know what? I think we're going to be doing a bit of battling, because we're kind of underleveled, and we actually may need them. So who are we going to be sending out here? Oh, uh, you know what? Let's just start out with Sparky. He's our lowest leveled. And... Wah! You're trespassing in our fighting dojo. Okay, so this really isn't the, the gym, more or less a dojo. Dojo! Dojo! Jo do 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 Okay. He's gonna be sending out a Machop. This is actually gonna be a really common Pokemon. Uh, the Machop here is actually has a really high attack. and But it is a starting evolution, so it's not too powerful. Uh... Mainly, these guys are going to be having Machops, uh, Mankeys, Primates, uh, Machops, or um, Ma ba, Ma ba, ba. the evolution of Machop, uh, and uh, basically just all those fighting types that you've already seen before and whatnot. And of course, of course, Mankey. What's why? Why wouldn't you send out a Mankey? Okay. And from here on further, I think I'm gonna actually be skipping ahead because really. These are all the same Pokemon, given they're the evolutions, but you've seen all these guys before, and oh, Jesus, okay, Cross Shop's a powerful move. I'm actually going to want to watch out for that. But uh, for the most part, you've seen this before. Uh, you know what? I'm going to speed it up. I'm not going to skip it out. I'm going to speed it up, just so you guys can see it. So you know what? I'll be with you guys in just a second. But first off, I'm going to switch out to Volan here. Why? Because Volan is a beast, and he can take down these guys really, really quickly with Aerial Ace. Okay, I'll see you all in a second. Okay, sorry about that cut there. I went ahead and I went back and healed up. So here we are, we have everybody defeated, aside from this guy, which I'm assuming is the Dojo Master. And you know what, guys, I am actually going to be recommending you put out a fairly strong Pokemon out in front here. Now, this should be a very, very powerful Pokemon, because this Pokemon that you're about to see, these two Pokemon that you're about to see, well, you know what, let's just start it off. Grunt! Oh, I, I, maybe I should have actually grunted there. I am the Karate Master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy. Fwah! I, I suppose I could have grunted there if I really, really wanted to. 
But here we are, okay, Black Belt, Koachi, Koachi, Koachi. He's gonna be sending out Hitmon Lee. Now, this is the first time we've actually seen Hitmon Lee. Hitmon Lee is a very, very offensive type Pokemon. They each evolve from a Pokemon known as Tyrogue, which doesn't exist in this gen yet. We have yet to discover it. And uh, Tyrogue, when it evolves, uh, it'll evolve whether it has a very high uh, its base attack or very high base uh, special. Was it? I, I believe I want to say defense. And uh, if it evolves into him on Lee, it means it's got a very high attack, which means that this Pokemon naturally doesn't have that high of defense. So let's go with the strength. But he is going for the Mind Reader. He knows some very powerful moves. So uh, you want to take this thing down really fast. And strength, I figure that Susan should be able to do this. I know that Susan is an normal type and is weak, but I have a feeling that Susan should be able to do this. Okay, he's going for the Foresight, which is, uh, he's going to be, uh, raising the chance to, uh, hit Snorlax, because he's going to be using a move known as High Jump Kick, which isn't too accurate, but is very powerful. And, uh, if you miss with High Jump Kick, you're in for a world of pain, because, uh, you'll take a bunch of damage left over, and you won't do any damage. So he's going to be sounding a Hitmonchan, the defensive of the evolution of Tyrogue. Now, uh, I'm just going to mention this here. Uh, Tyrogue does get a third evolution, known as Hitmontop, which is a combination of the attack and the defense. So you know what, guys? I'm going to be sending out Volonir because I want this thing to go fast. Now, uh, this Hitmon... Or, er, ah. This, um... Hitmonchan has, uh... You can see it's going to be using punching attacks. Uh, the Hitmon Lee was obviously using kicks because this is a kicking Pokemon. Didn't really have much for arms. But this Pokemon is going to be using uh, a lot of punching attacks, such as Fire Punch, uh, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, etc. Oops, I actually didn't mean to really do attack there, but attract. But you know what, I really don't want to take any damage from this guy, considering a lot of those attacks are special effective against Volan. Alright, she's in love with me, and he's in love with me, and he's immobilized, so sweet, that kind of paid out. We can go for the Aerial Ace, watch this just one hit KO it. Okay, no, but uh, it was close, it was close. Hopefully it doesn't get any attacks off, because I bet you it could one-shot Volan, and that's kind of scary because that's super effective. Don't do too much, don't. Okay. I, wow, I didn't think it was like going to one-shot it, but he didn't. It didn't. It didn't. Okay. Down goes him on Chan. Alright, sweet. So, uh, we defeated the do uh, the Dojo Master, the actually the Black Belt. Uh, Volan grew to level 35. Volan is now probably our most strong Pokemon. He's going to be trying to learn Air Cutter. Now, okay, let's take a look here at Air Cutter. Okay, Air Lice is 60 power. Okay, it's not good, or it's not better, it's got lower accuracy, Aerial Ace will actually never miss, but it does have a higher crit ratio. So if you are into crits, uh, you may want uh, Air Cutter. Alright, so we got Black Belt Ko Kochi down. Oh, wow, I'm oh, beaten! Alright, sweet. So, no. Volan, get out of here. Okay, so here we are in front of the Dojo Master. Indeed, I have lost. But I beseech you, do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I will give you a prize fighting Pokemon. Choose whichever one you like. Now see here, you can obtain either Hitmon Lee or Hitmon Chan. Now I personally, now for the sake of this LP, know what you guys choose. Vote in the comments down below. We can come back here another time and I can come pick it up. Actually, how about in tomorrow's episode? Because, guys, I know I'm going to keep this episode short and sweet. But, guys, we are the Fife Nation. I'll see you all next time. Peace out. Vote for which Pokemon I, want, uh, I should get down below. I'll see you all next time.